Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be very clear in the title of this video so that you know what's going to happen in this video. So if you clicked in this video, then you were warned in the title, okay? So let's do this. You know what? There's something I want to show you guys first, though. So, let me go get it. So, a couple videos back, I purchased two baby tarantulas. They have been growing a lot, and it has been a while since I've showed you guys them. So, here they are. Okay, so here are the baby tarantulas. Actually, the proper name for baby tarantulas is slings. So I have learned in my tarantula keeping days, um, which I am new in the tarantula keeping world. So yeah, bear with me. <laughs> so this one is actually something really cool happened. So this one actually just shed as you can see which you guys the first time i saw one of my tarantulas shed i freaked out because i thought it cloned itself but then i realized yo tarantulas shed so that i got over that pretty quickly <laughs> i've seen other tarantula keepers keep the sheds and um i've seen these really cool like frames shed displays where they display like all the different stages of their tarantulas and like the shed and it's really really cool so since i've been saving their sheds i do plan on doing that so yeah let me know down below in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing me make this and i will film it when i do so and show you guys the process so this one is actually the one that i was having trouble with with getting her to eat and stuff but she is eating better now she still doesn't eat as much as this one actually let me go ahead and open up this guy for y'all this dude's bigger i don't know if they're he or she's i'm just assuming which is bad but you know it's what i've been doing yeah completely different sizes even though when they came to me they were exactly the same so i don't know some people have told me that it's because you know one might be male and one might be female so you know there's that possibility and other than that i don't really know why oh and i moved on to these containers because in that other video you guys saw me set up like much bigger terrariums for them and i quickly realized why that's a bad idea so when i was reading up on slings and sling care i did see a couple times that you really should not set them up in big terrariums because it's too much for them and they have problems finding their foods and you know there's just other problems that go with that i quickly realized that that is 100 true because in those other terrariums they were really big for them and you would think like oh that's just so much more space for them to explore but no they actually didn't really explore at all so this one burrowed and it made it like a little cave and i never saw him ever and I never really knew if he was eating. I would never see him and I would put food in there and I would just assume he ate it because it was just gone. But I didn't know for a fact if he was eating or not. This one, I actually switched out into here first because you know, she wasn't eating. And when I switched her into a, this significantly smaller terrarium, after her adjusting for a few days, she did start to eat and she hasn't like gone off of food that much since being in this smaller terrarium. So definitely if you're looking into keeping tarantulas, don't make the same mistake. Okay, they do need to start out in smaller setups and then you slowly move them up. So this one actually, he does need a, I think he's ready for a bigger setup but not humongous you know i'm gonna move them into a slightly bigger container and uh, yeah that is it i think on them that is their update keeping them has been really really fun a completely different experience and watching them grow is just amazing and i'm really happy that they are growing and they are thriving here with me so yeah i don't know i guess i'm doing something right 
if I'm not, let me know. So yeah, this, these are my babies. They're so cute. They're growing so fast. I actually, you guys have been asking me if I'm going to be getting more right now, which I don't think so. I actually want to start keeping mantises, mantids again. So that's something. Oh, this camera is not focusing on me. Camera focus. <laughs> so um, yeah, I really want to like get back into keeping mantids. That was really fun and I do miss it. And I actually, oh, let me show you guys. So I did buy the, so I bought some new fly cultures. They are different species on each bucket. And I'm gonna like first have them here for a while and kind of set up new cultures. So I'm looking forward to mantids soon. Yeah, I've really just been enjoying keeping like these smaller dudes, like, you know, little critters. They're really cool. They're really fun to get them like small and just watch them grow. I do want more of that. So that is coming. Okay, so I've had this clip in my camera roll for a while now. I have consulted with multiple people whether I should release it or not because it's kind of really graphic. Pretty much everyone has just told me like, yo, you should just show it because it's a really unique situation that you captured on video accidentally. So yeah um i'm gonna show you guys a little backstory though so i was feeding my tarantulas i started filming them because i was really proud that all three of them ate at the same time like that really never happens so usually i'll do like feedings and one will eat or two never all three though so i was really proud of them so i decided to film that little short clip of all three of them eating <laughs> and then i have that time lapse i did of my mantis eating a cricket that i did a long long time ago i thought it'd be really interesting to do that with my bigger tarantula since he's bigger i figured the camera would pick up better on him eating so i started filming him and then i saw like a bunch of little things just walking around in the soil i quickly realized that those were baby cockroaches and that that roach that he was eating was giving birth while it was being devoured alive so yeah i didn't take the roach away from my tarantula because it was badly injured like i would have just prolonged its death you know when tarantulas go for the kill they go for the kill and that's that it would have gone to waste you know so this has never happened to me before because i don't really keep too many of these pets that eat their prey slowly like this like i have frogs that just kind of swallow the roaches whole in the moment so if any of them were pregnant i would just never know it so basically this has never happened to me before and yeah here's the full time lapse So I decided to be humane with the babies, you know, because poor mom, she used her last strength and her last breaths 
of life to give birth to them to make sure that they would make it safe and alive into this world so i <laughs> i picked each one individually up all of them eventually with some tweezers and placed them in this little container and became a mom of little tiny baby roaches. That's a new life experience. I became their foster mom and raised them. And every day I would feed them and hydrate them and they started to grow. Those are the surviving baby cockroaches and I don't want to use them as feeders like I feel like you know they survived such a big tragedy and they're just little badasses so I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with them but I know that I want them to live long full lives so now my question for y'all is does anybody want to adopt a cockroach? I'm serious. 